Hi guys. I uh, so another Carrie Stevens uh, technique, I suppose. So this one's Colonel Bates, uh, and we've got to the stage here where we have our wing array, etc. On, uh, and I'm going to put on our cheeks or plates or side plates, whatever you want to call them. Uh, now in this one, it goes calls for uh, grey mallard. So. Ideally, if you have a skin, skins make things easier uh, because you can choose a matching feather from one to the other and, and then you'll have a curve. Uh, not always possible, I suppose, depends whether you've got a big loose packet of feathers or not. So I have uh, chosen two feathers for each side, well, one for each side of my fly. Uh, and what I've done is I've stripped this one already to the size I wanted. So what I'm going to do then is set it up against my other fly feather, sorry, and strip to the same point. Now, I'm going for feathers that are, sm well, they're not small feathers, but they're, you could use uh, one of the bigger grey mallard feathers. Uh, it'll be much denser, I suppose, but what happens whenever you strip that is that you end up with the tip of a feather, and you'll end up with uh, very acute angles, and it's quite difficult, I think, to get it to match into the shape of our uh, so, when I'm happy that these two are the same length, I'll offer them up to the side of the fly. So usually I'll set the fly up on its side, and then once it's roughly where I want it, then I'll pinch it. Put a lap on to see if I like it, and then I will alter the angle of the feather with the stalk, with the stem that's pointing out here. Uh, the length, how much of the fly you take up is up to yourself. Um, I said I'm, I'm tying these things for frames so it's, it's kind of a, an artistic uh, interpretation for me so it, it may not always necessarily be uh, how it was meant to be when these things were tied to, to fish with. So when I'm happy that it's in place I'll put on a tight wrap down here. Now towards the front of the, the tie in point. If I put it on at the back it's going to deviate the uh, the feather. So I'll tie it in tight there and then I'll take looser wraps as I go back and those will hold it in place and then when it's all varnished down it'll be fine. Uh, so once I have that on I will set up my other one on this side. Pinch that. Use the rotary function just to check that it's sort of even looking. Sitting a little bit high, so I'll just lift the stock up a little bit until it sits in the position I want. Then I'll pinch and wrap back. And now you might see both sides. So, wrap back, holds all in place. So that's our sides on. Uh, next is uh, jungle cock. So, again, find yourself jungle cock yep. Uh, what I do here is to pick one from each side of the cape so that we have that little bit of curve. I like things to curve. Now, you can choose, say, to pull out a big feather and use the tip of it. Uh, if you're doing that then what you'd want to do is uh, probably tie in on one of these enameled spots because it will uh, stop the whole thing from rotating. So you could set that up on side, tie in and it will sit nice and flat. Uh, again, length up to yourself. Uh, so I am going to go for a slightly smaller feather and get more of it on, if that makes sense. One from each side. And then from the same spot on the cape, hopefully. Now, 
jungle cock is definitely a feather that doesn't like to sit. And that's because the stem is not round, it's not flat either. Uh, the stem uh, is kind of oval, but the, the fibres actually come off the wide part of the oval. So, you can attempt to use flat nose pliers and squeeze that down. You may have to then just twist your stock so that you get a flat tie in point. Set our feather up on the edge. Once it's in position turns back to hold it in place. To me it's just a little bit more natural, you know, if it has that uh, full bit of the feather in it. So, I'm going to do the same on my side. as necessary. Okay. And then when I'm happy, it all's in place. fine little scissors here. I just fold the stem out sideways, trim it, fold it out sideways, trim. the head with our tine thread. Finish it off and trim it. Now, uh, I'd say this is one of the heads with the black band fly so we'll add this into this video as well so I'm just swapping over my threads then and then I'm just gonna catch the thread across the middle of the head there trim off nice and neat create a nice neat little black band in the center Half hitch allowed to fall down exactly in the middle of that, hopefully. Nice and tight. And then we'll varnish it. And that will be our. Cheeks and sides on, and a red head with a black bar. So obviously, a black head with red bar is the same, only in reverse of colors. So anyway, um, so like what you see, like, subscribe, check out the other videos, tell your friends, uh, leave some comments, and uh, until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.